guys. They see the world in a much different way to the way we see it. Their brains are different. Their eyesight is different. How they hear is different. We're going to start first of all with their eyesight. Now this spider here, it has eight eyes. Now its eyesight is very poor. In fact, probably the only things they can really make out is the difference between day or night or perhaps the odd shadow. You might notice that she has very hairy legs and the reason for this is this is how she hears. So what happens is when a noise is made, the air vibrates and vibrates those little hairs and then she knows what type of noise it is, whether it's food or whether it's danger to get out of the way. If I was to shave her legs, she wouldn't be able to hear at all. As you may know, spiders have eight legs, but if you actually go and count them, it looks as if there are ten. And these two legs on the front, they're called palps or pedipalps, and they're a bit like the antenna on an insect. And what they use these for is to feel around, to taste their food, to smell, and grab their prey. If they have a small little brain, it's right here in the car piece. And that little brain is just a little bunch of nerves and it gives them the basic skills for survival and it has served them well because they've been around for over 300 million years. The legs work like hydraulics and basically what they are is tubes. Take a look here, you can see the heart is kind of long, it's there in the center of the abdomen, it's pumping away and what it's doing is it's sending blood or plasma as it's known to the legs. Fluid goes through the leg and the pressure causes it to expand like this and then muscles on the underside bring it back down again and that's how spiders are able to move. She has three claws on each leg. These are sharp enough to give her the ability to climb glass. This is the rear end of the spider, it's called the abdomen. And what she's doing now is she's using those little fingers called the spinnerets to lay the web on the ground. This is what the web glands look like close up. Inside the body, it's a liquid made of proteins, but then as it's excreted, it reacts with the air and turns into a solid, and that's where you get your threads. If we look at the back of the abdomen, it's quite hairy, but if we take a closer look, it appears to be fluffy. Now, this fluff is made up of tiny little hairs with little hooks or barbs on them. When she senses danger, she flicks them with her rear leg and they form a cloud. This fluff gets into the animal's eyes and onto the skin and into the lungs and it's really irritating. Just on the underbelly of the abdomen you can see these two little marks and these are called spiracles and what they are in fact is little slits very similar to fish gills and the air passes through these. The oxygen is then absorbed into the lungs which are very like the pages of a book and are called book lungs. Take a look at these fangs, they're pretty serious looking for a creature this size. Tarantulas from the Americas don't have a dangerous venom, well at least not to humans, but to its prey it's a different story. The poison either paralyzes or kills the insect. Digestive juices are excreted from the mouth. Now these are very similar to our saliva and they contain enzymes which are proteins that break down the food and turn it into kind of a super smoothie. The opening of the mouth contains little hairs, so as she sucks the juices through the opening, these little hairs filter out all the rough bits, the bits that she can't digest. The tarantula is lying on her back now as she prepares to molt. This is a very stressful time for spiders due to the hormonal changes it's going through. It happens quite often when they're young, but as they reach maturity, it happens less often. The video is speeded up and what's happening is blood is being pumped into her abdomen. You can see the way it's pulsating. Nature has provided a little weakness in the back of the abdomen and all this movement is causing it to split open and you can see how her abdomen is now slipping out of the old skin. At the same time the car piece is lifting up and she's exiting her old body. Watch as she's pulling out her legs, it's like getting out of a really tight pair of jeans. It can take anywhere from 15 minutes to several hours. 
as she emerges, she has a brand new pair of fangs and those ulcerating hairs she'd been flaking, they've all been replaced. They even replace missing limbs. It's incredible. So it's like a complete makeover. The new exoskeleton is damp, but as it dries out, it expands, and this is how the spider grows. And on she will go to perhaps reach an age of 20 to 30 years.